There is an unusual cabin deep in the woods. It had served as a laboratory and a dwelling for three generations of lodgers. But as of late, the latest lodger has been noticing weird changes in familiar surroundings. Things are missing. Noises and rattles heard. Something odd is coming out of the woods. Hello everyone, welcome to Knock Knock, a sort of side-scrolling adventure horror game, if you could call it that, made by Icepick Lodge. It's rather hard to classify into any particular genre, which is no surprise if you're familiar with Icepick Lodge's previous work. Um, as far as I know, they've released three previous games, and only two of which I'm familiar with. The Void and, before that, Pathologic. I've played both of... Let, let me talk a bit about Icepick Lodge. They really need to be introduced. In case you're not familiar with them, they're a very unique company. They disappear for a while, and then they come back and come out with a new game which is extraordinarily strange. That's basically how they've been operating for a while now. So yes, I've played Pathologic and The Void, two of their previous games, and in both cases, they were extremely interesting and extremely unique games. However, strangely enough, they also didn't really grab me because they never... Like, their games are so strange that I find myself unable to connect with them and become completely engaged with them. So I'm always... Like, I really respect the company and I love the fact that they exist. I'm always fascinated by anything they make. But as of yet, nothing they've made, I think, has actually really worked for me. They've always been so strange that I just can't get into it. Even though, despite the fact that I appreciate the strangeness. So yes, they're a very, very strange company. I'm going to keep saying they're strange because they're very strange, as you will, well, very much see. Let me, let me give you another example of just how freaking strange they are. When I was looking, trying to find information about this game, which, by the way, just came out of nowhere for me. I'd heard about it being on Kickstarter. This game was successfully Kickstarted, in case you didn't know. I heard about its Kickstarter, and then I didn't hear anything about it forever, and then suddenly it's released. I'm like, okay, awesome. I'm glad it's released. I just, it surprised the hell out of me. So I was looking around for information about the game, and I came across Icepick Lodge's official Twitter account. Here's what I saw. Their newest tweet is is them announcing that Knock Knock is out. Of course. And then I took a look at their previous tweets. The very tweet before the latest one announcing that Knock Knock has just been released. The very one before it is from almost exactly a year ago. And it's them announcing that Knock Knock is on Steam Greenlight. There was a year in between any tweets on their official Twitter account. The last thing they said is, hey, it's on Steam Greenlight. And then a year later, they come back and say, hey, it's out. <laughs> like, what? I, I don't understand how this company operates. Like, it, it seems... With the strange games they make and the strange way they behave, it's almost as if they're like mad scientists that just disappear into some dark laboratory for long periods of time, and then they come out with their newest game and unleash it upon the world. And it's up to us to attempt to understand what they've made. They're such a strange company, and I love it. I really do love it. So the big question is, is this actually going to work as a game for me? Is this more... I hate to use the word accessible, but truly, that, that is an important thing to keep in mind when you're looking at their games. Their games are incredibly inaccessible because of how strange they are. And just because of how they operate. So is this one more accessible? Accessible enough that I can actually get into it? I don't mean accessible in a watered-down way. I just mean... Like... I don't know. Hopefully you know what I mean. I don't know how to explain it. Let's see, what else is there to mention? I think that's about it. Oh yeah, Knock Knock is available on Steam and GOG.com. Links to all that stuff will be in the description. It's definitely um, because of the oddity of it. And I would say this probably goes for all of their games, I think. It's probably a game that's best played with as little knowledge beforehand as possible. Because there's such strange experiences, and that experience is made even more strange if you don't know what's coming. And I'm pretty much going into this with, well, very, very little knowledge. I've read a review, and I saw someone play this game for about 10 minutes, so I know, I know a few things. But 
very, very little. And this probably goes without saying, but if you intend to uh, play this game for yourself, then you probably want to avoid watching any Let's Plays or any gameplay of it or anything like that. You should probably go in with as little knowledge as possible as well. So yes, view with caution. Spoilers ahead, of course. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? But just want to mention that. It's also a game that's best played alone and in the dark, which I'm going to do right now. There we go. I just turned off my lights. It is now completely dark. Just listen to the crickets. Okay. Shall we get going? Shall we dive into this bizarre game and see what happens? You know, one thing I do want to mention before I get going is that I think it's probably best to view... It's best to view their games, I think, as not something that you beat, but rather something that you simply experience. So go into this as an experience. Don't don't think about trying to beat it. Don't think about winning. I don't think you can. Yeah, it's just something to be experienced. Okay, let's go. New game. Previous progress will be lost. Continue. Yes, I started up briefly just to make sure it worked and all of that. Let's go. And there we go. What a migraine, as if someone is pounding a hole in my poor skull. A lot of things to talk about right off the bat, so yeah, you're kind of just dumped into the game. Which is good. It makes it even more strange. So yes, this game has a very unique art style, it's kind of a side-scrolling game. So <laughs> That knocking is that knocking is um not exactly comforting. Knock knock. Who's there? I don't think I want to know who's there. Or what's there. Yes, this game is a very unique art style. I don't even know how to describe it. But as you can see, it's side scrolling. It involves 2D assets as well as 3D assets. Um, I'm exhausted. I just can't fall asleep. And then in the dark, I keep seeing some strange thing. By morning, the nightmares are always gone, though. How much longer until sunrise? So yes, the loose goal of the game is basically to survive until sunrise. I really hate those knocking sounds. Is to, Yeah, the main goal is to survive until sunrise, which you can see uh, your progress towards that in the clock in the upper left-hand corner, which, if you notice, is basically my head, but with my face replaced by a clock, which is extremely creepy. Very, very creepy. Again, the art style. Lots of 2D assets combined with... 3D assets. Like, everything exists in a 3D world, as you can see. There's even dynamic lighting. I think I can turn this light on and off. Yeah. So it's a mixture of 3D and 2D stuff, all kind of jumbled together in this side-scrolling 
sort of format, which is... It's very strange, I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it's really freaking beautiful. This game has amazing art. It's really effective. And the dynamic lighting really, really adds to it. As you can see, you play someone who doesn't seem to speak any particular language at all. Just weird noises that he makes when he talks. His hair looks absolutely insane. His eyes look insane. In fact, it looks like he hasn't slept in weeks, which may actually be true. As best I can surmise, from what little I've seen of the game, it's almost as if the entire game is like a... a nightmare. Like someone who's... It's almost like all of the fears you have around nighttime and darkness have or ever have had as a child. It's almost like all of those fears made manifest or something. It's very strange. I can't put my finger on it. But I guess more maybe will come to light, pardon the pun, as I continue. So again, I watched a little bit and I know a couple things that you can do. You can turn on and off the lights. I believe the lights keep away the things. I'll just put it that way, the things. Yes, you need to survive until daylight, and you can repair light bulbs, which mysteriously tend to break a lot. Presumably for... Oh, wait a minute. What happened to time? It feels like time is standing still. Why doesn't this night ever end? Something is very wrong. Something is very wrong. I think that about sums up the entire game, probably. We'll see. Oh, look. If you look at the uh, top left of the screen, on the ceiling, there's eyes looking down at me. That's comforting. What was I saying? Oh yes, you can repair light bulbs in rooms and turn them on and off. I believe they keep away the monsters, so I don't know why you would ever want to turn them off. I'll just leave it on. They seem to randomly break. I guess some sort of force is breaking them, which once again reinforces my feeling that this whole game is kind of like a all of the fears of nighttime made manifest. You know, you're trying to fight away the darkness with lights, but something just keeps... Things just keep getting darker and darker. The darkness is coming for you. I mean, really, it's hard not to identify with being afraid of the dark. I mean, I, I think... I, I was certainly afraid of the dark. I don't know if most children are, but I know a lot of children are afraid of the dark. Even now, as an adult, the darkness... Being in dark still makes me a bit uncomfortable. Oh, this is really creepy, this room. So apparently this is a very large building. And... Okay, let me fix this light bulb. And it was used for... Like, laboratory work, right? Experiments? Yeah, look at this. Some strange contraption. And... What are those things? I wish I could point with a mouse pointer, but I can't. What are those things against the wall, piled up like rocks? They look kind of like those... You know what they look like? I don't know what they're called, but those things from Princess M Mononoke? Mononoke? However it's pronounced? That anime? Movie? I don't remember what those were called. But those strange creatures, that reminds me of their head. Their gaping eyes and their gaping mouth. Pretty freaking creepy. Oh, I just went upstairs. Didn't mean to do that. Let's stay down here for now. Once again, wonderful art. Really, really wonderful. Oh man, just look at that dynamic lighting. It's so good. Oh god, look. Look at what's behind this contraption. There's pictures of the moon at various stages. But there's a face on all of the stages. And in every single stage, it looks like it's screaming in some way. Look at that. Oh. It's like the moon is in agony. 
There's the front door. I'm terribly tired. I've even started to sleepwalk. Last night, I woke up standing right here at the door. If it hadn't been bolted, I would have ended up outside. At night, this door has to be locked securely. I just want to stare at the environments. It's so detailed and so good looking. And the sound design is incredible too. Okay, up or down? Uh, let's go up, I don't want to go down. Going into the creepy basement is, well, creepy. Only slightly creepier than the creepy attic. Or whatever the hell this is, upper floor. What was a bland room. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going down. It's the only way to go, I think. Oh, there's a clock. This is how it's done. I can wind up the time, too. If the morning is not coming to me, I'll move myself and my home towards it. Did I mention this game is strange? Yes. You're moving your... S oh, shit. Um... Did it open for me, or did something come in? Um... I have no choice but to find out, because I have to go up. It's the only way I can go. Okay, so yeah. Did I mention this game is strange? You find clocks, and you actually move yourself closer to morning. Okay, let's go up. Okay, it looks like something did not come in. But why did it open? Let's go out into the night time! So, the sound of knocking came from here. But how did I manage to unbolt it and not lock it again? It's frightening to go out at night, but I have to check to make sure that it's just the wind. Okay, let's go. And here we are. Oh look, this tree looks like it has a Mouthful of spiky teeth and is going to eat my face. That's wonderful. Press up or down. So yeah, from what little I saw when someone else played it, I believe you can, like, go... Back? Like... Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what this is about. What was that sound? Did it come from here, or...? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know where I am at this point. Like, where's my house now? I... And how... There's a noise again. Like, why would I want to go forwards and backwards? I don't know. Let's go to the right. Let's go back. Never mind, I can't. Nope, I think this is as back as I can go. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Wait, is this just, like, infinite? Can I infinitely go back? I think maybe I can. Oh god, how far away from my house am I getting? Oh, look! I just noticed something. Take a look up. Up, 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 at the... At the very, very top of the screen, the trees in the background. Look at what's on the trees. About a million eyes, I think. I think those are eyes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are eyes. This entire game is like a nightmare. Is that... Am I back to my house?
Is that the house? I think it is. Okay. We're progressing to the... something? I, I don't know what I just... I went from the house to the... to the something. Oh, God. Um... Am I in an asylum? Press ear up. What's that noise? Is the clock ticking? I'm finally awake now. And as usual, in the early hours of the morning, it'll be sunrise soon. And for now, I'll just check. If everything's all right, I dreamt that the front door was unlocked. Someone was knocking. I had to get up and look. Then I regained consciousness in the forest, and I could hardly find my way back. Oh, so that was a dream. <laughs> well, do I really believe that? Was it a dream, or is this a dream? Is it all a dream? I Oh, God, who knows. Okay, so now I can hide. Yes, you can hide. The fact that you can hide tells you that there's something to hide from. It does truly appear that I'm awake now, though, because as you can see, the time is actually going forwards like normal. Well, I mean... Normal within the game's world, obviously. It's way faster than reality. So yes, you can hide. And when you hide, time actually goes back. So you don't want to do it all the time. Oh, wait, that's why you turn off the lights, isn't it? So you can hide. Yeah, that's gotta be it, because if you hide... Actually, does it turn off automatically? Yeah, it turns off automatically. So yes, you, you I'm progressing right now simply by existing. I just need to actually stay alive. <laughs> yeah. So you can find clocks, which will progress your time even faster. What? Uh, is that a thing? Did, did I just see something in the doorway? I think I just saw a fucking monster in the doorway. I don't know what that means. I think that means there's a monster up there, but I think there's a fucking monster in here, too. I was just talking, and then I heard, like, a groan. I don't want to come out. But time's going back, but I don't... I really don't want to come out. Fuck. Okay, just do it. It turned out to be nothing. Daybreak is very close now. I just have to survive, survive until dawn. Okay. Why try to get away? What was that? Why try to get away? Okay, well, the store's closed now. Good. Oh, I have to unlock it. So you gotta unlock doors, repair bulbs. Do not. Do not. Something doesn't want me to repair the lights. Oh, whoa. Okay, oh, there's a clock. What is that on the wall? No, no, I didn't want to go down. Crap. I mean, Just <laughs> when you thought about it, didn't want to go down. I mean, I mean, didn't want to go up. What the heck? I just realized, not only does the clocks, um... All I need is to last until sunrise. Dawn will put everything into its place. The clock. The actual shape of the clock itself looks like me, not just the uh, face of it looking like my face. But the whole thing. I have to hide. I don't know why, but I have to hide now. Oh god, okay. Go. You are not hide. I don't know why, but I have to hide now. What are you hiding from? What did you... What? What? And that voice. It's like it's haunting me. Don't do that. It doesn't want me to repair the lights. And it just said you are not alone. What is that noise? What is that noise? Okay. I don't, I don't see anything. Am I okay? Should I come out? <sighs> hey, you. What did the voice just say?
I'm gonna take a sip of my drink right now. Okay, I managed to drink without dying. Let's come out. Okay, okay, nothing. Okay. Let's go over here to the right. Oh, look at the ground. There's uh, bare footprints made in what looks like paint. Like someone stepped through paint. No need. No need? Yes, I think I do need to get some light in here. Okay. I could explore, or I could just wait, because I'm almost to the... Dice your footsteps. I'm almost to daybreak. Sunrise. No, no, let's explore. Okay. Don't think about scary things. Don't think about scary things, the voice says. As it tells me stuff in a scary voice. Oh, fuck! Who just sighed? Is someone here? Ha, 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 it's not moving. Oh, fuck, I can't go back. It's in the way. Um... The forest is creeping inside, but my home is impenetrable. The lights are off, the windows closed, the doors are all locked and bolted. Oh fuck! Fuck, look! Oh. Can I last until daybreak before it comes over here? I don't know if it moves. Look, it's almost fucking daybreak! Is it still there? Oh fuck! Uh. Repair the light! Repair the light! Repair the light! Will it keep it away? Will it keep it away? Uh. It knows where you are. I'm getting delirious. I've got to finish checking the house and then go back to sleep. Is it? Oh shit! Fuck! I'm haunted by troubling thoughts. They insist on crawling into my head, as if they were alive. Okay, it did a ton of time damage to me, basically. But I I'm still alive. Jesus Christ. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I said wait and watch. Okay, his, his eyes are closed. I'm waiting for something, what am I waiting? Okay, yeah, I saw that when I watched someone else play it. Like, some rooms you can go into, and if he closes his eyes, it's like he's he's watching to find something, and something will appear. Oh, wait, I can actually use this? Can I hide behind it, or can I actually use it? Hold on, let me use the clock first. Okay, whew. What, what does this do? Oh, it just hide, hides behind it. Okay, yeah, it's just a hiding place. But is it just a hiding place? It's also something that's in the house. Let's let's take a look at it. I don't know what these are, but they look like horrible cages made. Something's walking upstairs. Something's upstairs. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna stay down here. I'm just gonna stay down here until daybreak. Yes. Let's stay down here, shall we? I don't want to explore. These look like horrible cages made for people. I mean, they almost look like Iron Maidens, but I don't think they have any spikes. What are they actually for? Looks like people are meant to be inside of them, but what? Torture? Experiments? Just... Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's almost daybreak. It's almost daybreak. Almost daybreak. Here we go. Come on. Come on. <gasps> okay. Thank God. The nightmare's over. Hide and seek in the dark. This is a test of courage. So you shouldn't really hide when you play. Just try to play fair and wait for the game to end. If the... I'm kind of bad at reading like cursive or cursive-like things, so this is kind of hard for me to read, sorry if I'm slow. If the seeker sees that someone is hiding, everything will start from the beginning again. The key is, you have to guess how the seeker interprets the game. So if he says to someone, you're hiding, but that person is standing in the open, 
then it is not about being seen or not. What? Ho hold on, let me read that again. I did not understand that. This is a test of courage, so you shouldn't really hide when you play. Okay, that makes sense. Right, I'm like trying to face my fears in the nighttime, right? Just try to play fair and wait for the game to end. Okay. If the seeker sees that someone is hiding, everything will start from the beginning again. Right, so there's a, a seeker trying to find me. The key is you have to guess how the seeker interprets the game. You have to see how the seeker interprets the game. So if he says to someone you're hiding, but that person is standing in the open, then it is not about being seen or not. What does that mean? If it says you're hiding, but that person is standing in the open, then it's not about being seen or not. I don't know what that means. I'm so confused. And disturbed that I don't know it. Am I supposed to know what that means? Maybe it's supposed to be mysterious. Maybe it's supposed to be ambiguous. Or maybe I'm just dumb. But yes, apparently I need to think about how the Seeker is interpreting the game. Knock knock, who's there? It's a game of hide and seek. The Seeker and me, the hider. Okay. I don't know what that means, but let's continue. There I am, progressing. Alright, so I started at the house and then I went to a thing and then now, now I'm back at the house. So is this the dream? Okay, so this is the dream world again, isn't it? What? In general, it's best for the psyche to sleep soundly in the pre-dawn hours. But lately, I've been awake and restless. So I decided to spend these hours checking on my house. Let's see if all the rooms are still where they should be. Well, it would appear time is not progressing. Alright, let's see if... Scroll mouse wheel. Wait, what? Scroll mouse wheel for what? Oh, whoa. You can zoom out and take a look at the other rooms. Whoa. Okay. Great. Let's turn on the light, shall we? There's something in the woods. This house is, is an observatory. It's an old science station. I've lived here since I was born. Oh, that's what this... Yeah, that's what this contraption is. I kind of look like it, but I wasn't sure. I guess it's uh, a telescope. I think it's meant to be pointing out that window directly behind me. It's just because of the 2D art style, though they couldn't really represent that very clearly. The fact that it's actually pointing outside, or supposed to be. Yeah, so... So what? Was whoever lived here observing the moon? That's what those drawings are, and that's what they saw on the moon? Is it screaming? <laughs> oh god. Knock knock! Should I answer the front door? Let's do it. Hi! Let's repair the light. I don't think I can unlock the front door, can I? No, as I said, it needs to remain locked at all times. Let's go down. I'm a worldologist. That is my profession. I inherited it. We, the worldologists, watch the world, study what it's made of. We write down these findings and analyze them, and at some point, these notes could be used for scientific research. Hmm. Watchers. Worldologists. Strange.
My father worked here before I did, before him, my grandfather, and so on. Each one of my predecessors added something to this house. But the past is not a very valuable legacy, which is why many rooms are locked. I never look in there. Well, we're going to be waking up all sorts of things from the past, aren't we? Let's go up. Oh, hold on, let me... Well, let me get the light on first. And then I'm going to zoom out. Get a look at the layout of the house. Alright, sit. That sounds like the voice of some, like, 50-foot beast. Stomping around outside, just without the stomping noises. But just the voice sounds like some massive creature. I just imagine it. Looking inside of the window, it's one of its eyes taking up the entire window, looking in. Oh, God. Okay. This is the room that is zoomed in on. So, yeah, take a look at this clock. Look at it. The shape of it is exactly like me. <laughs> uh, even my hand is moving around kind of like a... I know, it's got like a smooth, circular motion. Look at that clock. Look at that. It's me. That clock is me. Yep. Okay. There we go. Thank goodness. The morning is getting nearer. Yeah, not by much, though. We'll need to find what? Oh, God. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just need to go outside. Nothing came in. I don't want to remember. It's so repetitive anyway. My state of mind suits me just fine, the way it is right now. I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember what? I don't know. What's going on in this room, though? Like, look at this. Strange bat thing, and some sort of a drawing of someone's head. And that person's eyes look strangely like mine. Except it looks younger. Is that a drawing of me as a kid? He said he's lived here his whole life. And it is a laboratory. Maybe experiments were done on him? I don't know. This looks like something that measures height. Alright, out the front door we go. I can hardly contain my excitement to go out into the dark woods, where I've heard screaming monsters. I didn't open this door. No one is alive out there. Who could have snuck in? And no one whose mind could have come. Wait, what? The only path here is the one that goes around my house. Right now, I can go check that. There aren't any new ones. Hold on. I've been going right. What if I go left? I think most people go to the right. Right, left to right. But what if I go right to left? Well, those crows scared the hell out of me, or ravens, whatever they are. <laughs> God, the art in this game is so good. Look at this tree. This one right here, right behind me. Look at its limbs. It's like claws. It has claws for limbs. Like skeleton hands. But only vaguely, not, not too obvious. It just vaguely looks like claws. Ugh. Let's go back. If I can. Here we go. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to the left. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't have. Can I zoom out? No. Okay, I'm starting to really regret going to the left. Let's go back. I'm starting to really regret going to the left. Let's go back some more. Maybe I should go to the right. Okay, let's just go to the right. I think going to the left was a very bad idea. <laughs> God, hopefully it doesn't take me like five years to go find it now. God, where is it? I'm, um, not alone in the woods. Come on, come on. Where's my house? I really don't want to be in the woods any longer. I wonder if I screwed myself by going to the left. Let's just keep going back. God, these woods are endless. Okay, I'm never going to the left again. Ever. Ev- Um... Should I go towards her or run away? Oh, <gasps> she- She's gone! Okay, that's even worse. That is even worse than having to encounter her. She just disappeared. God, where's my house? Okay, let's go forwards. We are going back, back, back. Ooh, ooh, is that it? Okay, thank God. And we progress. To the waking time? I, I don't know. Interesting that when I'm 
I'm sleeping. And at this point, who the hell knows what's going on? Everything's fallen into disrepair. Many rooms have been neglected. This house should be impenetrable. Even a little crack is a cause for serious concern. Which is why I have to find and patch up every single gap. Once they're closed, everything will go back to the way it was. Okay, fix the gaps. Fix the cracks, if if I can. Zoom out, what we got to work with? God, the art in this game is beautiful. It really is. Just a minute. I'll wait for my eyes to adjust. Okay, there's something in here. I don't even recognize my own home. Why does it look so empty? It's probably just my eyes going bad. My eyesight's getting worse and worse after dark. It doesn't matter. I only have to wait a little bit longer. Soon, it'll be daybreak. But is this one of those rooms where I can wait and something appears? He's not closing his eyes. So I don't think it is? No. Wait a minute, yeah. Where's this stuff? This was the observatory. It was full of stuff. Okay, hold on. He's, he's remembering. Come on. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Finally, everything's in its place. I can see it, clearly. Something is wrong with my head. I'm still half asleep. I'm not convinced he's ever been awake. Oh, shit. Okay, I think there's something up there. So I'm gonna go the opposite. Hold on, where was that? Okay, it's pretty far away. I'm gonna go down. Okay, is it moving? Or is there another one? Okay, let's go into the basement now. Goodbye. I love the basement. Hold on, he's remembering. I don't know what the hell that voice just said, but he's remembering. Remember. 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 Don't run. I'll be quick. D don't run. I'll be quick. Yeah. Oh, shit, I can hide behind that. What is that, anyway? A pile of mud? Oh! No, don't look. No light. It's just my nerves. I'm not looking. Not one bit. I'm not even turning my head. There isn't anything there. No, no, nothing there. Oh, fuck. Uh, light, light. I, I, uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> okay, I think you just restart the day. There's nothing I could have done there. Let's restart the day, shall we? Let's not go into the basement this time. Someone just walked over my grave. Wait, what? What do you mean someone just walked over your grave? I still haven't figured out, like, how to play. I don't want to think about the past. It's less troubling to live in the dark. Wait, it's less troubling to live in the dark. So he doesn't want to remember. During my nightly rounds, it's vital to turn on the light in each room for a little while. It's the only way to put everything back in order. A scientifically proven fact. If the home is kept in order, the, ni the nightmares will go, go away. Okay, so he doesn't want to remember, but he also kind of does? I don't know, I'm getting mixed messages here.
Okay, remember. Remember. Don't completely lose your mind. At least remember what your house looks like. There you go. Well, I sorted things out in here. Now let's get going. Only it's best to turn the lights off when I leave. Otherwise, I'll worry. When the windows are brightly lit, I can feel someone's penetrating eyes watching me from the outside. Should I turn the lights off? I really don't want to. Also, I just noticed those rock things. Their lights were, their eyes were lit up. They just went down. Wait, no, they're coming back. Yeah, look at those. Look at the, they're looking at me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Apparently I should turn off the lights when I leave the room. Something's watching me from the outside. Okay, fine. Okay, let's go upstairs. So turn the lights just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, and then leave. Okay, there's something here. Okay. Why does everything look so neat in here? Because someone cleaned it up. Who cleaned it up? I did. Who else could have? Okay. There we go, some more time. Okay, I think there's something in that room. Turn on the light. Okay, and there's something in that room too. Turn on the light. Turn on the light right now. There's something in here. Remember? Get me out now. Now. Fucking now. Oh god, it locked behind me. Hold on, there's something here. Remember. 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 Oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Okay, it's coming. Is it still coming? Just when you thought <laughs> yep, it's still coming. It's still coming. I'm gonna go down. Surely there's nothing in here, right? Uh, what? And what's this? Is it a hole in the wall, or am I just seeing things? Of course, I'm only dreaming again, and it's easy to prove. Once the, li once the light is on, this will all disappear. Or I could use it. Let's use it right now, because I don't want to be here anymore. Achievement unlocked. Through the looking glass. Okay, where am I? Where am I now? Long periods of isolation are harmful to the psyche. A tired mind distorts the perception of reality. I have to snap out of it. I feel like something eerie is happening to my home. Can I zoom out? No, I can't even zoom out. Where am I? It's a huge hallway so far. A door. Do I go into it or do I keep going? Okay, more doors. More doors. The fuck was that noise? Sounds like someone just had a sharp intake of breath, like... <sighs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. I don't think there's an end. I should probably just go in one of the doors. Okay, there's that wonderful noise again. Let's go in. Is this another hallway? Oh god. Okay, that's a different type of door, and it's open. Let's, let's go. Okay, that... I'm not sure what that did. It did something. Am I back to the same day at the beginning? Did I just go in a circle? I think I may have gone in a circle. 
I'm pretty sure this is the same day. Maybe I shouldn't go through those things. In general, I need to fill this empty room with something, at the very least, so that I have somewhere to hide. Is there something in here? No, there's something in here. Light brings clarity. It separates the imaginary from the real. Confidence arrives with the light, which is why I anxiously await the break of day. Okay, something in here. This is the observatory. Good, good. Alright, let's go down this time. Zoom out. Okay. Alright, something in here. Thank goodness. Everything's in order. I just need to remember to turn off the light when I go. Then they'll never know that there's someone at home. Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. Good point. Oh god. I don't think it worked. Okay, remember. Good. Is there somewhere- now remember something that I can hide behind, because I think I'm gonna have to do that, like, right now. Okay. I am close. I am close, I think the voice just said. Something like that. Okay, let's go up, and then I can immediately go down and hide if I need to, which is pretty freaking likely! Go down! Okay, good thing I can, um, reverse my direction on the stairs. Mid-stair. Do I turn this off? I'm gonna turn this off. It'll never know. Right? I'm your child. Oh, shit! Up, up, up. There's the eye thing again, but I'm not falling for it. Okay, turn this light off, and let's keep going. Hold on, let's get... There we go. Now it is inside. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Something in here. Something in here. Yes. Just what I need. Something in here? Yes. Wait knows where you are. Hold on, I forgot to turn- Oh, go okay. Yeah, let's go this way. It's gonna keep coming, right? Don't yep, it's gonna keep coming! Things. Ooh, boy. Okay. Oh, sh- Oh, fuck! Fuck! You thought about it. Okay, I can glitch them sort of by going up and down the stairs. I can't. Is it gone? It's gone. Ooh. Okay. Stairs are my safe place. Just when you thought about it, it came. I'm almost okay. Almost daybreak. Almost freaking daybreak. Turn the light back on. Actually, I don't need to. What's the point? I've already examined this room. There's the eye again. I'm not falling for that. What is that? Wait there. My name is Nobody. What the f- What? It just said wait there, and the eye disappeared. I don't even know. Alright, yeah, definitely a scientist's, uh... Home. Laboratory. Look at the pictures Hello. of... Creatures and insects. Hello! Hi, voice, bye! I'm almost okay, just need to wait here. Wait here. It knows where you are. It knows where you are. I don't doubt that. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. 
And there's something! Okay! Oh, ooh. And now, it is inside. Ah, oh, daybreak. You should play this game alone. Get up three hours before sunrise. Say this to yourself three times. I didn't forget anything. Walk through your darkened house and turn on the lights in each room. Get, uh, Go back to the room you started in. Close your eyes. Try to focus on the first thing that comes to mind. If you imagine a face, that being will come to live in your home. What? Is this... These messages are extraordinarily creepy. I don't even know if this is addressing me directly or addressing the character. Try to focus on the first thing that comes to mind. If you imagine a face, that being will come to live in your home. Okay. Okay. My diary's gone missing. Alright, so it's hinting at where I My old man gave me this diary when I was first learning how to write. He said that I would write my entire life down in it, and that with the last page of the notebook, my life would end as well. He was the last in our family who was fond of speaking in metaphors. I was very young then and took his words literally. I wanted to live a long life, so I rationed the pages. I wrote only in my smallest handwriting, rarely and briefly. It became a habit. But after a while, I forgot his words. For some reason, they've come back to me now, and they unsettled me. That is unsettling. That's very unsettling. Whoa. Why did this page just come up? Where did this come from? What seems horrible inside the house will stop scaring you if you go out into the woods. Touch them without fear. Open your eyes. Don't be afraid to look. Don't be afraid to see. This is not death, but simply a new time. There is no death. <laughs> what seems horrible inside the house will stop. Scaring you if you go into the woods. I don't know, I found the woods pretty freaking creepy. Touch them without fear. I'm not gonna freaking touch them, Jesus. Open your eyes. How can these pages be here? Why are they torn? I don't like this at all. Did someone get into the room while I was asleep and steal the diary? I have to check the entire house again. I really neglected it. Get a look here. Okay, not too big. Let's go downstairs. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going down right now. Yep. Something is getting closer from the other side. I have to hurry. Okay. Let's hurry. Oh, never mind. Apparently I'm good. I'm so busy. During the day, I have to take samples of everything here. I have to check on the composition of the soil, and also on the air, water, fauna, flora. Okay. 
Alright, so he's living in a... Oh, it's a wonderful noise. Something growling at me from the woods. I'm just gonna stay in the light here. Yeah. So yes, like his father and his father before him, he is also a scientist. Or a worldologist. Which I think is a type of scientist, isn't it? Collecting data. Observing. Taking samples. Okay, so I can go outside, but... Hold on, what if I just explore the house first? No harm in that, right? Right? No harm in that, right? Don't look in the mirror. Look out the window. What? Don't look in the mirror. Look out the window. I regret exploring the rest of the house now. I often address the diary entries to myself, to my older self, who one day would read these entries. It was just a game, but now I feel that a complete stranger has penned these pages. Is it actually a stranger, though? Okay, let's keep exploring. More pages. Let's find more pages. Is one gonna pop up every time I fix a light? Yeah. Come out. It's time. The handwriting is made to look like mine, but it's just a little bit off. I didn't write this, that's for sure. <laughs> something's... something's examined... M something's examined my handwriting, and it's tried to copy it, tried to convince me that it's... that I wrote it. Last one. Nothing. Okay. Now, it is truly time to go outside. Let's not go to the left this time. Although it's possible that had nothing to do why I couldn't nothing to do with the fact that I couldn't find my house. But still, just in case, let's not do it. Hold on, let me let me look closer. There's something beneath her eyes. I don't know what it is. Has she been crying? You know what? She actually kind of looks like me, in a way. Maybe her eyes look all messed up like mine, like she hasn't slept in weeks. Kind of looks like it, maybe. And it also kind of looks like she's in a nightgown. Maybe she's in the woods just like me. Let's go back. Whoa. Achievement unlocked, open your mind. What just happened? Did I, did I activate that by... Uh, Touching her, basically? What is this? What the... From time to time, I see things that simply cannot be. Sometimes I even see new stars in the sky. But I don't record that in my archives and reports. It's simply depression, or maybe it is something even worse. They say it's called somnolence, and it can even lead to somnambulism. But this too shall pass. I 
Is that a real word? Some numb? I don't know what that is. I don't think I pronounced it right either. Sorry for butchering it. Okay, well, I'm going to look for the, uh... Look for her next time. See what happens. I'm no longer afraid of her. Apparently she doesn't wish to harm me, from what I can tell. Hey, that note did say don't be afraid to uh, look and, and touch, right? I guess it wasn't wrong. Although I'm still afraid to look and touch the monsters that come into my home. Yeah, I'm not going to be touching those anytime soon, at least not on purpose. Okay, here we go. Moving along. By the way, if you look further up this line that I'm traveling on, look at the big monster up there. Did you see it? You'll see it next time. We're heading towards the big monster drawing thing. Can't wait to see what that is, huh? Okay. Time's moving forwards. It's no secret that everyone has to learn proper hide-and-seek technique. This is common knowledge, handed down throughout the ages. But even as a child, I had an exceptional talent for this difficult art. To remain undiscovered, remember one important rule. Don't look, and then no one will see you. What I can't see isn't there. Strange, but it works. Okay, it's gonna be really hard not to look, but yeah, don't look. Don't look. I mean, you have to come out at some point, obviously, because time's going backwards, so if you stay in there forever, you are going to lose. Or at least never be able to finish. But be patient. Whoa. Wait a minute, this is different. There's two ways down? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think the house is actually different every time you come into it. Yeah, it's randomized. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn off the lights behind me. Or should I? Should I turn off the lights behind me? I can feel that someone was here recently. There's a lip-shaped stain on the door lock, as if someone kissed my door with a clay-covered mouth. What? Kissed your... Wait a minute, what, what is he remembering? I just was in this room and he didn't... What are you, what are you remembering? Why am I doing all this? Maybe it's not even necessary. I forgot something very important. Something that I shouldn't even try to remember. Something that I shouldn't try to remember? What do you mean? Okay, so he just remembered more of this room. Hmm. I want to remember. He doesn't seem to. He doesn't seem to want to remember, but I do. Everything is as it was. But still, it's slightly off somehow. What's changed? Or have I just been too overwhelmed lately? I can't keep anything straight. My memory is going. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to turn off the lights. I keep, ah, I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, I'll do it on my way back. Oh, there's something in here. Ooh. Anything else? No. Oh! Shit! Okay, need to go now. Because I need to go up. Because I can't go into that room, so I need to go up. It's the only way. Wait, this is the observatory now. Now it's up. Now it's upstairs. Remember, remember. Something to help save me. Remember. Come on, come on. Okay, I can hide behind that. Good. Should I go downstairs? I'm going downstairs. I hear you breathing. Okay. Wait there. No, I'm not gonna wait there. Fuck you. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. 
Oh shit, go up, go up, holy fuck. Rem oh, he's remembering something again. Remembering something, remember it. Come on, please. I think it's coming upstairs. Okay, good, good. He's remembering more. Shit. Okay, checking downstairs. Okay. Just when you thought about it. Oh, there's the eye again. Do I want to do it? Oh, whoa. Okay, that like bloodshot, like bloodshot eye look on the screen that takes over and it like rocks the screen back and forth. That's what happens when you like kill the eye. There's something down there. Hold on, we're going down here. Okay. It's okay. Nothing down here. Oh, okay. Need to explore, need to explore, need to remember. Come on, come on. Are you sick? I can hear you shaking. <laughs> Are you sick? I can hear you shaking. That's what the voice just said. Alright, let me unlock this door. Just to have it unlocked. I'm not actually gonna go into the room. Let's go down. I'm trying to keep near to the entrance to another room, like near to the ladder, so I can quickly get out of here. Okay, remember. And right then, it was inside. Daylight will be here soon. I'm ready to turn off the lights again. Whoa. Guests like those only come in the dark. Because the shadows eat through the walls of your home. Yes, they do. I don't get it. Why did I write this in my sleep? What does it even mean? Okay, that's coming. Just when you thought about God, what is that thing? Wait, is it gone? Oh, no, no, it's not gone. It is not gone. What the fuck is that thing? It doesn't even have a head. You know what? I don't want to be here. I want to be near a ladder. Hey, you. Okay, I can still see it down there. Hey, you. What do you mean, hey, hey you? Okay. Whew. Whew. It's still down there. I can still see it down there. If I want to explore more, I need to get past it. But can I? If I want to explore more, I need... Okay, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I can get past it. Hold on. You thought about it. And now... Mmm... Nope. Nope. I can Fuck. I can't really get past it. Okay, I don't think they can climb ladders. Look at that thing, look at that thing. It can't come up, right? No. Will it come towards me if I go down? Yes, it will. Okay. Just when you thought about it, it came in. Yeah, I can't get past it. No way. Okay. It's almost daylight. Just go upstairs. Hello? It's nice and light in here. Everything's good. Okay. And... Daylight. Whew. Once again, take a look at my progress on that map. Look at what's in the future. Look at the drawings. Up the... Path through the mind. Oh, I guess we'll get to that in a minute. Something new. This is a game which should be played in the dark. Sit in front of the window and close your eyes. Imagine that something new appeared in the inky darkness beyond the window. Say this to yourself. It's there. I simply didn't see it before now. Repeat this. What does it say? Until you feel that someone is watching you through the window. Then leave the room. I almost want to do that. I almost want to actually do that. I don't know if it's telling, like... I guess it's supposed to be written... Well, it's his diary, so it's supposed to be written from him to himself, right? He addresses it to himself, but he even said that the the writing's slightly off. It wasn't actually made by him. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. Imagine that something new appeared in the inky darkness beyond the window. 
You know what? No thanks. I, I don't think I will. Okay, look, look at where I'm going. Look at that. Further up. There's a huge monster on the pathway. What is that? I don't know. But we're getting close. 